and really you're helping all of us with our practices. I don't know how much background you have on what's happening here, but <laughs> there's, a, there's a combination. Hey, raise your hand if you work for Pinellas schools, just so you can see. So these folks work for the school district. And if you work for the college, raise your hand, but everybody else. Um, and it's a combination of faculty and field supervisors. And then Annika and myself were with the Center for Educational Leadership out in Seattle. And everyone here is working on improving the way we give feedback to interns because we know how important you are and we want all of you to be having a positive aligned experience and how you get input, input basically feedback. Mm -hmm. So they're really watching how I do this so that we can all just reflect on how, we're, how, how we tend to do it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. so, so really this is about our practices, but I'm hoping that you know we're gonna chat for about 15 minutes. Okay. I'm really hoping that you know, we'll, we'll, you'll get some chance to reflect. I'm gonna share some of what I observed as well, um, you know, some of the strengths we noticed, and I'm hoping that we end with at least one or two next steps for you okay. that seem reasonable, like you could do it tomorrow. Okay. And really doable, okay? okay. So, um, so that's our purpose. Any questions about any of that? Or? No. Okay, <laughs> awesome. So, so um, I wanna grab this. This is the lesson plan, and um, I know we talked a lot as a group about the indicators that you're, you were really Work, working on mm -hmm. and getting feedback on, and um, wanted to share that you were working on providing guiding, guided independent practice as appropriate and circulating around mm -hmm. to see what students are, are up to, um, and also to maintain the climate of fairness and support, right? Um, and I, I just wanted to ask you off the bat, you know, which of those would you most like to focus on in this conversation, you know, based uh, on what you're working on? Just and, circulating around for my first observation, that was something that mm -hmm. my supervisor noticed that I needed to okay. work on more, so I tried to really do that more in this one. Okay, and which one do you see that is connected mostly to, the independent practice one or the, or both, or? I think the maintains climate of fairness and support, so I can get to okay. you know, everyone, and okay. so that that's fair, that they all get, you know, my assistance when needed. And okay, and, and, you know, it occurs to me, what have you been trying on around that? You know, like physically moving around, but what have you tried so far? Um, like, what do you mean? I guess. Yeah. So, so like, literally, has it meant that you've been telling yourself, okay, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna walk uh, around? Like, yeah. what have you tried in order? Just to... making sure that I get really to like all parts of the room, okay. so that I can talk to as many students as I can when I'm circulating around. And... Okay. So um, <clears throat> that that makes sense. That makes sense. And I'm, what are you looking and listening for? Not even necessarily today, but you know, what do you what do you see as the purpose of circulating? What are you looking and listening for? Well, making sure that they're doing what they supposed they're supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. and that they understand what they need to do and what's expected of them. And okay. I don't want any because some days some kids are just you know kind of sitting there and they don't want to raise their hand and ask. For help mm -hmm. so I think that me going around will make sure that I can get to those kids too to make sure that they're not just kind of sitting there and not asking for assistance mm, okay um, you know it occurs to me just hearing you say that that that's that I am seeing some connections between independence mm -hmm. and that you know mm -hmm. uh, and monitoring and walking around you know so so for instance today mm -hmm. what were you hoping that they to see and hear well I will get that. <laughs> what were you hoping that they would need to see and hear when they were, when you were circulating? Um, and I, we saw you do it several times, mm -hmm. right? You circulated um, during the part, the journal part, certainly. Mm -hmm. um, we saw you circulate when they were working on their graphic organizers. Mm -hmm. You know, what were you really hoping for today? Um, just to see that they were really understanding the cause and effect okay. with, what, with what we're working on. And then with the journals, I also wanted to see, you know, that they were getting their own thinking in there too, and they were getting to be ah. a little creative with it as well, and not just doing the minimum of what was needed. You know? Okay. Okay, that's really interesting. So the, the in the journal part, I mean, I'm gonna say I, I they were being more independent, right? Yeah. They were mm -hmm. they doing were, it on their own. Doing it on their own, yeah. Um, so you asked them to think about um, what would have happened if they didn't have to take the animals across mm -hmm. the river, right? Mm -hmm. So what did you and we have some of their work, mm -hmm. you know, but before we even looked in there, since circulating was your focus, mm -hmm. what did you notice? You know, what did you see in here? Um, well some of them just do pretty much the bare minimum of what's expected with the question, but then others I notice get more like creative with it, put their own thoughts into it and think of it in like a different perspective. 
But okay. then there's others, like a lot of the ELLs just sort of answer the question and then that's it, really. They don't put a lot of extra okay. into it. Okay, so that's interesting. <clears throat> uh, so is that what you saw today mm -hmm. or is it typically? Yeah, Okay. today and typically I've okay. noticed that's what happens. So well, let's think about today. Um, and you know, one of the strengths that we, we definitely noticed is you um, you seem to know what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Like you, it seem, you seemed clear about mm -hmm. what you wanted in those three bubbles in the graphic yeah. organizer. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, and when you modeled that, you know, like here's the let's make sure everyone has the right cause, mm -hmm. and then had the three effects. Mm -hmm. All students wrote those wrote that down, yeah. and it seemed I'm, I'm checking in assumptions, but it seemed like that's what you were looking for. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So given that. You know, what would a really, and I know that creativity is something you value, mm -hmm. what would a strong answer to that question about the animals look and sound like? I know you shared out two of them, I think Kylie's and, um, no, not Kylie's, it was the girl on the, on the other Nivea. end of that row. Yes. Um, yeah. I shared her, yeah, yeah. you talking about her with the journal Yeah, the journal part. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. she, she always kind of does this too. She always kind of looks at it from, the opposite viewpoint of mm. what everyone else will kind of say. Okay. So I always really like looking at her responses because she yeah. just has a unique way of thinking about it. Like with hers, I think I have hers right here. Mm -hmm. Like she almost took it from both perspectives, like that it may have changed, but it also yeah. may have still, here, like I'll read her. She uh -huh. said, I think if he didn't have to bring all the animals, there would have been a different output because he didn't have to push anything around. Mm. But I also think that the outcome would have stayed the same because even if the animals didn't come, they can't stop the weather. So I think it could have been easier without them, but still hard and rough with them. So she thinks okay. of it kind of from yeah. different angles rather than just, okay, it's just the animals uh -huh. that's causing it. She thought about the other things that were causing it too in her response and kind right. of rough that into there too. So it wasn't black and white, it was yeah, exactly. not definitive. It could uh -huh. have been this, and, mm -hmm. and it, I mean, it, it, I see text evidence in that yeah, too, right? Definitely. So mm -hmm. she knew the weather was mm -hmm. gonna be a problem, mm -hmm. you know, regardless. So yes. so it sounded like text evidence might be something that you're looking for mm -hmm. at the very, at the proficient level, mm -hmm. okay, in the journal. Yes. Yeah, okay, so so is there another way that a student could show proficiency? So that's, that's definitely a strong example. Mm -hmm. Is there another one in there that you think was, I mean, you shared two, but um, there may have been, yeah. Ryan's was the other one uh -huh. that I shared. Yeah, and it could be a different student. Yeah, he wrote, yeah. Mm -hmm. let's see. He wrote, I think the effect would be much different. I think just because he wouldn't have been stuck, right. he was going back to the animals to get them and bring them to the other side of the river while it was dark and rainy. Mm -hmm. If he didn't have to do that, him and his horse would have been safe. Mm -hmm. So yeah, really the text evidence is what I'm looking for a lot. Yeah. And then backing that up with their own thinking as okay. well. Okay, okay. So with that in mind, let's look at one that maybe is more in the middle. I'm just okay. curious, yeah. And, and you, you pulled these, we just chatted briefly after the class and I said, mm -hmm. you know, could you grab a few? Mm -hmm. How did you choose these? I know that um, Nevaeh and Ryan were strong, right? But yes. yeah. And honestly, that's why I chose. Yeah, no, that's today, great. But, that's great. Um, mm -hmm. This this set here, you know. Um, okay, this yeah. mm -hmm. this is one of the ELLs. Okay. So his is very. Sorry, that's not the right one. His is very short here. So I think he may have not finished, but he says I think the the effect would be different because if Will brought only his horse, but not. Is 115 animals the cause would be the animals would so I think he didn't finish <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah no, right yeah, but yeah. so yeah he uh -huh. he brought some text evidence into there okay. too but didn't really I mean he didn't finish his thought obviously either so okay yeah, this one would need a little work with him so there's some text evidence but but the part about his own thinking yeah I want them not... to put their own thinking in there as well because this okay. is a, an opportunity where they get to do that during this journal writing Absolutely, and their own thinking that shows that they know what mm -hmm. positive effect means. Exactly, right? It can't be kind of out there. Mm -hmm. So, what's your theory about this about this student? You know, what's your first of all? Were you surprised? I want to start with that when you saw that, or is this about what you expected? No, he, yeah. he struggles. He uh -huh. uh, he moved here a few years ago from Egypt, mm -hmm. actually. So he's got a pretty hard time with the language. Sometimes mm -hmm. I have to go to him and verbally explain things a lot or else he'll just sit and stare and be like, mm -hmm. what is this 
Mm -hmm. I mean, so okay. no, I wasn't really surprised. But he always is one of the ones that kind of just does what's asked, but doesn't do any of the okay. of his own thinking in there. Okay. So what do you want for him? Maybe I want to push him more to to mm -hmm. get some of his own thinking in there and get some creative ideas because he does when I talk to him yeah. he has a lot of good ideas mm -hmm. but he just has a hard time translating that into his academic okay. work um, and there are, it sounds like there's other students who kind of fit in this category uh -huh, there's okay. a lot of uh, ELLs in that class and are you saying that in, typically they'll kind of put the text evidence but not necessarily the elaboration uh -huh, exactly okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah and we're working yeah. on that a lot with their essay writing too because they've mm -hmm. got their state test coming up so that's so we've been emphasizing that a lot in class so absolutely we're really trying to get them to do that more <laughs> what have you tried <clears throat> real quick I'm just curious about that yeah about getting them to yeah. elaboration uh -huh. on that really I'll just try to you know just question him more just probe him with okay. more questions to get okay. him to think deeper about what he's supposed to be doing okay and not just answering the question and that's it you know okay um, so let's go back to the circulating. This is great. Mm -hmm. This is helping me get a picture for what you're looking for in the student work. And it sounded like you had a sense of what you were looking for as you went around, mm -hmm. you know. And I think you're looking for more than are they doing the task, right? Yes. That seems like mm -hmm. you want to make sure they are. Mm -hmm. But then you're beyond that. You're also looking for the quality of what exactly. they're of what they're doing. Uh -huh. um, and you already had a, have a sense that the um, that some of the students who are learning English mm -hmm. um, have a tendency to, to, to not finish, not elaborate uh -huh. fully, right? Mm -hmm. But they, um, and you noticed that today mm -hmm. when you circulated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm wondering, you know, how did you decide how to walk around the room, you know, where to go? I just was trying to yeah. go all the way around. Mm -hmm. really think about, I, don't, I didn't really have a plan for it, I just... Okay. Just kind of going with the flow go in the moment. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the fact that you're doing it, yeah. it's, it's you ha you were before and mm -hmm. now you are, you mm -hmm. know. So, um, did were you satisfied with what you the information you gathered today by by walking around like that? Yeah. 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 Okay. I felt I I circulated a lot more today than I did like in my last lesson observation. I felt that it definitely was helpful to me and them mm -hmm. with me making sure that they're you know doing what they need to be doing and for them for having my assistance mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, we absolutely noticed that everyone was was writing in their journal, mm -hmm. and they had a lot. That they wrote down more than they said verbally. Mm -hmm. They really were doing a fair amount yeah. of writing. Yeah, you they know? were. Um, and it's very possible that you walking around was part of what you know, and you allowed mm -hmm. them to do that. And the scaffolding in the graphic organizer also likely set them up to mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. Um, and then you had all these verbal uh, or visual cues, like the question was on the on the document mm -hmm. camera. The signal words were posted, mm -hmm. so there's there's a there's scaffolding to yes. help them right during mm -hmm. that time and you walking around. Well, so at the beginning you were saying that one of the reasons that walk circulating is important is to know where they all are mm -hmm. in, their, in their learning. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, I'm thinking one possible next step since you already know a fair amount about where students are mm -hmm. is you know why not go to certain kids. First, you know, okay. strategically, okay. right? Um, mm -hmm. And when you hear that suggestion, what is that? Who do you think of right away? Well, Gurgis, okay. the one I shared, because mm -hmm. I know he struggles a lot, so he's always one that I do try to go to right away because I okay. know mm -hmm. how he kind of works mm -hmm. and he needs that extra push sometimes. Okay. Um, and then the ELLs really are the ones that I try to get to first. Okay. Especially with all the writing that they've been doing. Mm -hmm. They sometimes need like the verbal cues to help them mm -hmm. understand the directions and what exactly they need to do. Okay. So so you know, giving them verbal cues. Also, um, at one point we saw we we noticed when you had a student go up and indicate on the sentences mm -hmm. the cause and effect, you reminded that student to look at the chart. Yes. So I mean another possible way you could support them is Let's look at the clues around the room. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. write them like something you're already doing. Mm -hmm. But I mean, just knowing that you have those strategies of, of questioning students to probe further, you mm -hmm. know, and remind them of their resources around the room. Um, it sounds like just making a strategic plan mm -hmm. about who to go to yeah. might be a, a next step, possibly. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Does that feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Totally. It seems like you're really close to being able to do that already yeah. and sort of doing it anyway, yeah. but just starting there mm -hmm. tomorrow or, yeah. yeah. Does okay. that seem doable? Yeah, okay. definitely. Um, is there any support that you might need from anybody to help 
make that happen? Like the, your cooperating teacher or any? You know, no, my stuff? teacher is amazing. She yeah. helps me so mm-hmm. much in every way in the classroom. So yeah, I'm definitely getting great support from her and the principal and yeah. the, other, the other teacher that co-teaches with her. They're all very supportive and helpful to me. So Okay, so you can even share with them mm-hmm. what you're yeah, definitely. What you're gonna do. Yeah, mm-hmm. and she'll definitely give me some pointers as well when I discuss that with her. Yeah. Around, around sort of that coaching of those uh-huh. students strategically. Mm-hmm. And I think you can really rely on your strength of knowing what you're looking for. Exactly. You know, and maybe even thinking ahead, like, okay, I'm going to look for that text evidence and I'm going to look for the elaboration. Uh-huh. And divide, you know, figuring out what you'll ask to help them yes. along that road. Yes, yeah. Definitely. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. So, okay. Mm-hmm. So, so, all right. So, what is your, what's your, what are your next steps? How would, how would you describe what we just talked about? Well, I, I definitely like what you said about um, being more strategic okay. about who I'm going to go with and help because I know sometimes when, I, when I'm when i helping them, I sometimes am like, am I, am I asking them the right mm-hmm. questions to get mm-hmm. them to do what I want them to do? So maybe just thinking more about that beforehand, what I'm going to ask them. Okay. And like you said before, I think that comes from just me knowing my expectations yeah. of what I want them to do. So just being more clear about yeah. that. Can you can you imagine what some of those questions might be? Yeah, all right. like even thinking back to today, you know. Hmm. Think about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just just curious. I mean, for instance, like you know, if you were looking for text evidence and elaboration, you know, maybe asking students, you know, where do you see that in the text? Exactly. And yeah. What does that make you think? Mm-hmm. You know, just questions like that to mm-hmm. fall back on. Yeah. You know, so. I mean, so I'm giving you another thing to think about. Yeah. It seems like you're ready. Uh-huh. Yeah. Planning the questions yeah. beforehand. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. sometimes in the moment, I'll like get a question in my mind. I'm like, oh, this is a good one to ask them and get them to think more. But if I mm-hmm. thought of that beforehand, I think it would be a lot better. Okay. I think you know. Because mm-hmm. you, you, you know what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. I always try to have the clear expectations so I know what I want them to achieve Absolutely. by the end, yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you, guys. It was, it was great to have you here and yeah. to chat with you, and maybe we'll see you again. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much.